Autumn harvest crops like pumpkins and corn have been cultivated by Native Americans for thousands of years. This agricultural resilience was necessary for survival, ensuring families would be fed through the cold winter months. Today, there is another hunger for many Native American families, the hunger to connect to a culture colonizers forced their ancestors to give up. If you're not tied to a stomp ground, you may not get the answer to what you're looking for. If I was lucky that I was just born and raised with it. John John Brown is a Muscogee Creek and Yuchi tribal elder, though elder might not be a word he is used to quite yet. Last year, Brown received both the Living Legends Award from Muscogee Creek Nation and the AARP Native American Elder Award. He is the youngest recipient on record for each of them. Grandpa was a medicine man and he was a chief. I got showed a lot of things when it comes to medicine, Indian medicine and the Ceremonial Brown belongs to the Duck Creek Ceremonial Ground, located in Hectorville. He said it is one of only three Yuchi grounds left in the world. Until 1972, it was illegal for anybody to practice um, stomp dances or earth celebrators. Um, that's how recent these laws are. Not 1872, 1972. This was still illegal to do, but my grandpa started this ground back in the 30s, uh, and, but we're still thriving today. Brown also works to preserve other traditions, such as carving canoes, crafting ball sticks, and breaking rock or flint napping, the shaping or chipping away of stones to make things like arrowheads. And just as the harvest is celebrated as a connector to the cycles of nature, the land, and creator, Brown is also a celebrated connector. Through his positioning as a special projects coordinator for Muscogee Creek Nation and through mentorship. So everything that I make, I also teach, and I teach it to our youth. While they maintain their own distinct cultural identity, many Yuchi are enrolled citizens of the Muscogee Creek Nation. In the Trilla Tears and in the movement, they grouped the Yuchis with the Creeks when we got over here, and so the Yuchis got Creek roll numbers. One major ceremonial commonality for both tribes and many others in Oklahoma, across the nation and throughout the world, is the sacred fire. And though different ceremonial grounds will have different protocols, Brown says, there is one thing that unifies them all. They always tell us, once you touch that fire, it will always draw you back. There's something about that fire that will draw you back. And so for a long time, I thought, what does that mean? It's the medicine and it's the whole spiritual aspect of it. Um, once you see it, once you hear it, once you experience it, you'll want to come back. It'll draw you back and it's what it's supposed to do.